Sometimes you have to get up early even when you don't want to. Oh, really? We're going to start it like that? You can't see it. Shut yeah, no. up. Wake up. Good morning. Cheers. Top of the morning squad. Uh, Saturday, day before Father's Day. Kind of a uh, paradox for me. Happy, sad, kind of not as sad. Almost, well, it's been over 15, 16 years ago. Uh, this weekend, I buried my father. So, Father's Day is not very happy for me. You saw the title to this video. This is my full day of eating flexible diet if it fits your macros all of that good shit anyway man uh we got done uh with most of the videos getting caught up in editing it takes some time uh but having said that man we're trying to get caught up and get get more videos pumped out as fast as i can get them edited so flexible dieting if it fits your macros whatever fits your plan uh, it's going down today, man. I do double training sessions on the weekends. We got legs this morning. I also have uh, another uh, training session later on this afternoon. Uh, we will be running. We will be uh, doing a chest session. So uh, obviously, I won't get all of the uh, workout in because this video will take forever uh, for me to edit and get up to you. So you do not have to be great to get started. You just have to start to be great. You have time. Take advantage of your time wisely. Dieting is not hard, all right? People are making this overcomplicated, and I'm gonna show you what fits my macros, what helps me uh, achieve some of the things that I'm trying to achieve, uh, and maybe this can affect you, man. I appreciate y'all checking in, homie. Thank you for all the love and support. We got a lot of shit going down today, man, so stay tuned. Buckle up, as we say. Fill your cup up, pot in the gas, your truck up, pimp. It's time to ride. I appreciate y'all, man. You know how we do when we make it do what it do, baby. Big time gains is on deck. <sighs> Get high, baby. I don't take pre-workout, kid. My rage is my pre-workout. Ah! Well, all right, squad. Uh, we get this day started now. As you saw, I was in the uh, do feeder reps, and I do those in the morning. Uh, and I, I'm doing those in the morning. I do those at night, uh, and I do those in the morning. We, if you have not seen the video by Rich Piano uh, explaining feeder reps, uh, then you need to check that out. As you saw, I put a couple links in the video for that. But feeder reps are the real deal. All right, and my biceps are filling in. Obviously, I'm not as cut as I need to be yet. That is coming. Uh, we are preparing for something big. First time that I've ever done this in my life. So, uh, you need to check out feeder reps, man. My biceps were my weakest link, one of. So, we started doing those. Uh, and they are paying off uh, in dividends, all right? Uh, that's 100 uh, skull crushers. And then it's also... Uh, 60 uh, hammer curls and you do this four times so anyway I want you guys to see the uh, first meal that we have on deck prepared by none other than TT she makes these killer ass bacon egg and cheese biscuits and this is beef bacon which <laughs> A lot of you may not be hip to beef bacon. It doesn't We've, taste any different. It tastes like bacon. It's regular bacon. It don't taste like any different kind of bacon. 
Uh, it's regular bacon. So, uh, because we got legs this morning and I'm about to uh, slam, I'm, we about to just kill these legs. I really like to carb up as much as I can uh, before I go. Um, give me about a good hour in uh, so I, that food can get settled. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and get this leg session in. Uh, and then we have our second uh, session of the day uh, that's coming up later this afternoon. And as you guys may have seen already, uh, the biscuits that I do have is reduced fat. Grand's Home Staff uh, Reduced Fat Buttermilk Biscuits. Uh, these make for killer ass sandwiches. So this is meal number one. Anyway, man, so I just wanted to show y'all that's my first meal of the day. Uh, we got legs coming up, man, so stay tuned. All right, squad, we're getting ready to go to the gym. Uh, I've already ate my meal. And <clears throat> a lot of you guys, uh, quick tips, man, for especially for you guys that, uh, that are just getting started. There are certain things that you do need to do before you go to the gym. All right, there is a lot. It's a lot of shit that you're going to overlook getting started and having guys that have been seasoned in the gym. I've been doing it. I've been working out since, I mean, I started working out when I was in, when I was in junior high. Was I serious about it? No. But I did at least start to pick up a weight, look at it, whatever. Uh, I remember the times that I could be able to curl 45-pound plates with an easy bar curl like it was nothing. All right, and that was in high school, whatever. And then I started getting more acclimated because I started picking up things from people that know Shit, that's the beauty of this whole fitness YouTube community is that no one person can run the gamut on the whole market. You can learn a lot of stuff from a lot of different people. Everybody has their place. Anyway, man, so everybody has their place in the fitness community because they have a lot of good information, okay? So you will pick up things along the way. What I would like to do is help you not make simple mistakes that can actually help you make gains a lot faster and be more progressive uh, and be have your training sessions be more optimal while you in the gym and that one particular thing Don't ever get this misconstrued. No supplement Creatine branch chain amino acids glutamine Protein it don't matter what it is. No Absolutely no supplement made in anybody's factory lab whatever will ever 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 replace natural food it ain't gonna happen Alright, so, having said that, one thing that you all are missing that you may need to incorporate is your water intake. If you do not know already, the more amount of water volume that you have in your body, the more blood volume that you're going to have pumping through your veins, okay? A lot of guys take these pre-workouts or take nitric oxide boosters that I absolutely do not believe in, period. I just don't believe in that system, I guess. I just don't believe in that particular something. I think it's a waste of fucking money. And you can, you'll spend $40, $39, $40 on a nitric oxide booster to get a pump when you can spend $1.39 on a jug of water. You can get a supplement that is a natural. I'm not, this is not no Gatorade, and I've said this before. I don't hate on Gatorade, but I do not drink Gatorade. It's too friggin' salty. But this is an all-natural electrolyte. An all-natural hydrating electrolyte that I pay, what do we pay, $19 for this? This is about 40, it's 25 servings in this. All right, I put it in my water. You drink this pre-workout. This is my pre-workout. I don't take that caffeinated shit I don't know how guys take that every day before you work out. I just don't do it. Anyway, this is how I fix my water pre-workout, all right? All right, guys. Now, for an uh, intra workout, I have uh, done a lot of research, I guess. Uh, I don't really like to jump back and forth between products unless I find one that's really good. And I have read up on Beast Creature, all right, for creatine. And for me, uh, what I've read thus far, pretty good. The taste, cherry limeade, is off the hook. And I really like this stuff. Um, I, some people cycle on and off of um, creatine. I don't. I don't cycle off creatine. I like, how, I like the feeling that I have when I'm on it. Uh, I feel a lot more energized, stronger. I just feel better. 
I've never had to really cycle off of it. I've just always been on it. Some guys may not agree with that. And like I said, man, it's what works for you. What works for me may not work for you. What works for you definitely may not work for me. Some shit you do might work for me. Some things I do might work for you. So it's whatever. Uh, don't hate me because I don't I don't cycle off of it. I just, I just don't. I really love creatine. Uh, I don't cycle off of steak. I eat the hell out of steak and I get creatine in steak. So I'm not cycling off of T-bones and porterhouses. Never. <laughs> <laughs> We're having one tonight. Yeah, I'm going to have one tonight, so I'm not cycling off. Anyway, man, so this is my uh, my intro workout. If you guys, some of you don't know what intra means, it means during uh, your workout. So I'll put two scoops of creature. I will also add my glutamine, all right, and that flavor gets in the air. Taste that? You are silly. Anyway, man, uh, I will go ahead and add. And you guys don't got a funnel. Like I said, man, get you a funnel so you don't spill all your shit all over. Spilling gains all over the countertop. All right, guys, and that is my intro workout. Uh, we, uh, we done mixed all this up. We getting ready to head to the gym and crush legs. Uh, meal number two is next, guys. Stay tuned. We are finally done uh, heading to my post-workout meal, which will be uh, meal number two. Um, with Paps. With, yeah, with Paps. And the reason why we're doing it with him today is because Father's Day is tomorrow. And uh, isn't he going fishing or something? He said he'd rather go out to breakfast. He'd rather go out to breakfast than to have uh, lunch. So uh, we're going to honor that. And uh, you know Paps, that's my best homie. Anyway, man, this is post meal, post workout meal number two. Uh, we are definitely uh, going to enjoy this. Uh, I love bulking season. I'm going to hate it when it's time uh, to cut because I would not be able to indulge in the the uh, lovely things of food goodness the way that I do. So, having said that, man, we getting ready to eat meal number two. Stay tuned. Guys, here we go. Uh, <laughs> meal number two, post-workout meal, Cracker Barrel style. And what I do have is two beautiful buttermilk pancakes. It does come with those apples. All right. I do try to scrape that butter off. You guys don't like to eat all that butter. Uh, but anyway, uh, like I said, this is not necessarily macro-friendly, but. Uh, I'm not counting macros uh, on a bulk. I just try to stay away from super bad food, uh, if you want to put it in that context. Uh, but I did get the Country Boy break fixes. I think that's what they call it. Hash brown casserole, got some sausage and country ham. I'll probably just eat that sausage. Uh, do have uh, scrambled eggs with cheese, and I also have buttermilk biscuits. Uh, that comes with this buttermilk biscuits and gravy, as you can see right here. All right, so I'm about to demolish this as well as grits. I'm about to kill this. Uh, stay tuned, man. Meal number three is coming up next.
What's good, squad? Uh, back now for meal number three. Uh, it's right about right a little past noon. Uh, for snack, well, not necessarily a snack, but midday little giddy up. Uh, if you guys are familiar with Zatarans, all right, uh, we go. I'd like Zatarans. This is re reduced fat, or not reduced fat, reduced sodium. Sorry. Uh, they do have a bunch of varieties, but this is that red beans and rice. All right. And uh, we also have some turkey sausage, butterball. Uh, TT fixes this up. She likes to fix these little bitty meals, but this is what gets me through the day. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and down this. I got a lot of stuff. I got to edit a lot of videos this weekend. Uh, <laughs> so uh, again, man, this is meal number three. Got another. We got chess coming up later on this afternoon. So stay tuned for that meal number four is coming up next, man. We getting this shit today, man. We getting it. All right, squad. Uh, meal number four. Getting ready to go to the gym. So what do we have? I do have what you see here is a bacon wrapped cream cheese stuffed chicken breast. And let me tell you something, this smells absolutely friggin' amazing. Having said that, man, I'm going to go ahead and crush this. So, that's meal number four. Stay tuned, man. We're about to hit that gym. Meal number five and six is next. Blah! Uh, finally got done with that meal. Uh, I hope you guys try out that recipe. Stay tuned. Uh, the Summer Sizzle Edition of that prep video will be up right after this so stay tuned for that anyway man uh we getting ready to go down here to the gym knock this chest i'm out to fuck this all the way up uh probably won't be able to record the whole session obviously uh because that'll make this video extendedly way too long but y'all know how i get it it's time to ride let's go when we started as you can see uh we started with a with a that plate loaded decline which is basically a decline chest press but we do an isolated version one arm we turn to the side and what that really does that really forces a lot of blood a lot of tension most of the growth zone is right here on that one isolated particular peck as you can see when we turn to the left and we turn to the right anytime you bring your humerus across your chest, in this particular instance, we're talking we're doing chest. Anytime you bring your humerus across your chest, that is going to force uh, that particular muscle to, 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 tense, and to tense even 10 times more than if you were to just do a regular, say, barbell uh, press or regular dumbbell um, chest press, decline, incline, whatever. Anytime you bring your humerus across your chest, it's going to force uh, more tension on that muscle. And as soon as we got done with this, uh, we came over to uh, flat bench. Now, because I do chase PRs, I've already told you this. I chase them bad boys. I chase the motherfuckers every time I get a chance. Because I like to know where I'm at, okay? My personal progress is very important to me. I like to know how strong I am, if I'm losing strength, if I'm gaining strength, if I'm progressing, if my work is working. So I chase PRs, period. That's just what I do. As you can see, we went on a flat bench. Now, being on that flat barbell bench press, I tried to get the 405 raw. The last time that I attempted this, as you guys may, or some of you may or may not know, uh, when I got in the slot at the bottom of the rep, I got stuck. I couldn't get out. And my man had to help me get up. This time, I pout. As soon as I got it off the rack, I knew I had this bitch zipped up. It was, it was, a, it was a grinder. <laughs> As you can see, it was a grinder, but I, I, at least I tempted and I got it. And I had to recheck with Chad just to make sure, double check, dude, did you, what did you do? He said, I just, I was just there shadowing. So he didn't do anything uh, to help me get that up. And I feel good. I'm going to try that again, but you know, that's just what I do. If you guys are not hip to that slingshot, get hip, all right? As you can see, we're putting in a, a, a boatload of work uh, on this on the flat barbell, and then we also incorporate that slingshot for overtraining, for overload training. All right. When we got done with this, we went over the incline dumbbell. Now, for those of you that are having problems with your upper chest, such as myself, my upper chest is not as developed as I would like it to be. 
I would highly recommend you incorporate this particular exercise and these are dumbbell incline dumbbell pause presses why do I say pause because you are going to let nature and gravity work with you to help grow that upper pec portion of your chest and you will see and feel that you're getting a very large stretch on that and you will feel this in your upper portion of your pec muscle you let you hold that weight at the bottom of the rep and it stretches that pec muscle as much as far as it can possibly stretch which you're stretching that fashion you're going to force more blood that's going to force more growth at the bottom of that rep you power back up to the top come back down and you do this for 10 reps and we did four sets all right, Ken folk, we finally got done, man. Second session of the day, that felt pretty friggin' good. We went buck wow. Told you I was gonna get stupid. All right, guys, um, fifth meal of the day. As you can see right here, I don't know if you guys are hip to oh yeah, but these really taste like candy bars. Candy bars, like for real, for real. They even got some with friggin' M and M's in them shits. Uh, real, real spill. <laughs> but anyway, man, uh, these gains is these gains is coming, dog. You got in order to make gain, in order to get paid, you gotta go to work. So get in that gym and put the damn work in, clock in, get you some overtime in, man. You know how them overtime checks look when y'all get paid on Friday and you got that, you forgot you had them extra seven to eight hours on that check, and that shit swole. <laughs> Anyway, man, uh, try you one of these Oh Yeah bars, man. If you have not yet, I'm telling you, man, this is off the hook. What's good, squad? Finally got cleaned up. And as you can see, I have on none other than a skin-busting, sleeve-hugging, Howard Sir Cannon showing, Nine millimeter desert eagle loaded. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> anyway, man, we getting ready to go down to uh, we getting ready to go down to my favorite hot spot to get meal number six for the night. Uh, you know I'm a carnivore and I love steak, so we have absolutely earned this meal today because we smashed ass on chest killed them legs and we got a massive arm session uh training session that we do sunday morning so we earned this shit man um let me look at this that's what gains look like <laughs> that's what female gains look like let's show them what you got show them that damn it the fuck you got going on over there? she gunning her sleeve i don't know can you sleeve hug a blouse this one ain't got sleeves. Oh, uh, she ain't got sleeves. She just ripped them, just ripped them shits. And <laughs> anyway, man, we getting ready to go get meal number six, man. I appreciate y'all ride with me for the day. Uh, real spill. Uh, this has been. Uh, I haven't done this in a while, man. So getting caught up on on uh, training videos and traveling and blah blah blah, man. It just. I'm gonna do a video one day to show you guys exactly how much time it takes and effort it takes to put into a video uh, and how long it actually takes to put this stuff up man this is this can be extremely time consuming you know me man I don't I don't like to put out garbage so if I do a good video man my next one got a top that last one I just put up so it takes me a bit it takes me some time you feel me so anyway man I appreciate y'all riding with us today for real man anyway man uh, we getting ready to go hit the Longhorns man stay tuned all right guys we are finally here now quick tip for you guys is going out uh, such as myself I don't drink hot uh, but those of you that do drink soda and you like to I guess cut back on your sugar intake here's a little tip get you Pellegrino all right they don't sell this here but uh, I brought my own so I kind of keep it hood Anyway, uh, you get Pellegrino and get your water enhancer. This still keeps you to give you the carbonation uh, of pop uh, and get you a water enhancer. Since I like orange, it's be like an orange soda, so to speak. So you get the benefit of having water without the sugar and the sugar-free, calorie-free water enhancer, such as Mio. So, so like Sprite, get your little Mio shot. 
And there you have orange soda. And it tastes just like Fanta. Sunkiss, right? You like Sunkiss? Yeah. Tastes like Sunkiss. <laughs> Stay tuned, man. Yeah. All right, guys, here we go. Uh, the meal is finally here. I don't know if I told you all about this or not, but if you are not hip to table side steak sauce, booyah. You guys got to get you some. This is probably some of the best stuff I've ever tasted uh, steak sauce wise in my life and you can only get it at long home. So, what I have is a porterhouse for two as usual with a blue cheese crust on top and a naked sweet potato. Uh, this is meal number six. I'm about to devour this because I'm hungry as hell. Uh, T has a what they call a flows filet, just a filet mignon and a sweet potato with a little bit of butter, a little and bit of butter brown and, uh, sugar. and some brown sugar. So we about to kill this, man. Uh, I am hungry. Thank y'all for riding with me, man. Stay tuned, man. We not done. <laughs> All right, squad. Uh, we finally made it home. Killed that steak. Was good as hell. Um, I appreciate y'all riding with me today, man, on some top level, real shit. And I really like doing these videos, man. It, it really, it keeps me motivated, keeps me amped up. So I like getting down with this, especially on the weekends, man, because that's uh, when the majority uh, of my work gets done. Uh, because, you know, working throughout the week with a regular job is kind of hard to go as heavy and as hard as you would like to. Uh, during the week, but you know, you no excuses, man. We don't make excuses. We make gains. Period. Again, man, I definitely uh, appreciate you guys, man. If you happen again, if you happen to enjoy this video, please leave your comments, man. I love interacting with y'all. Thank you guys again, man. I appreciate y'all. If you happen to like this video, man, hit the thumbs up, man. If you haven't subscribed you already, haven't subscribed already. Like and what you ain't now, man? Brian said, man, go slam that subscribe button, man. And join the evolution because we growing around here. Anyway, man, love y'all, man. Thank y'all for riding with me today. It's your, it's, 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 your, it's your boy. Oh, Kevin the Bat, Taurus, no bull, just buck, baby, a full day eating a flexible diet, man. We wrap that shit up. Hope you guys enjoyed that, man. And I'm out. Let